It seems that Patriotic Alliance leader Gaten McKenzie's latest comment has not gone down well with Julius Malima. Before we continue, please kindly hit on the subscribe button. Because of their divergent ideologies and political stances, the two have been at one other's throats for years. Malima is taking no chances when it comes to those who have decided to work with President Cyril Ramaphosa or any political party, since he has declined to collaborate with the president in the formation of his proposed government of national unity. Malima said that the Democratic Alliance Party and neoliberal parties stand for a counter-revolutionary, reactionary, and neo-colonial program that aims to preserve South Africa's current property arrangements, which maintain the white minority's economic dominance. Recently, Mr. Julius Malima stunned everyone by making a statement on Patriotic Alliance leader Gaten McKenzie. During his press conference on the matters pertaining to the formation of the Government of National Unity, Malima referred to McKenzie as a criminal and former prisoner devoid of moral character. Listen to all these ex-prisoners, gangsters, and all of that, how they negotiate, he said. When they go through the gate, they inform you of their position. No structure, no principles. Leader of the Economic Freedom Fighters, EFF, Julius Malima, has once again issued a severe ultimatum to President Cyril Ramaphosa of the African National Congress, ANC, requesting the immediate reinstatement of Nkoyaliko Dunga, the EFF's finance member of the mayoral committee, MMC, in Akorhulini. Malima said that he had a direct discussion with Ramaphosa, emphasizing that the EFF would remove all of its MMCs from Johannesburg, Akorhulini, Mogali City, and other municipalities in which the party is in alliance with the ANC by today's end if Dunga is not restored. This audacious approach has the potential to drastically upend the political climate in many communities. Recently, Dunga was relieved of his duties. This action has caused friction and debate inside the alliance. The EFF's critical attitude on retaining its influence and places inside the coalition agreements is highlighted by Malima's demand. If the deadline is not fulfilled, there is a risk that important metropolitan regions' governance would become unstable, which might cause problems with service delivery and the eventual collapse of municipal operations. To preserve stable government, the Governing African National Congress, ANC, depends on coalition alliances in a number of localities. These partnerships would be strained if EFF MMCs were removed, which would make it more difficult for the ANC to properly run local governments. We acknowledge the concerns raised by the EFF and are currently in discussions to resolve the matter amicably, ANC spokeswoman Puel Mabe said. The provision of services to our communities and efficient government continue to be our top priorities. Ramaphosa and the ANC are under a lot of pressure to resolve coalition partner complaints quickly given the current state of affairs. The demands made by the EFF draw attention to how brittle political coalitions may be and how these conflicts might affect local government. The ANC's answer and the mayor of Ekor Hulini are under intense scrutiny as the deadline approaches. The possible consequences might have a significant impact on South Africa's political scene. Malima needs to burn in hell. The majority of KZN voters did not support MK. It's democracy here. Inciting fear won't succeed. Zuma does not own KZN. Kwanatsi General is prepared. Durban, June 13, 2024. Political analyst and commentator Saifo Dlamini has issued a sharp critique of Julius Malima's recent statements, claiming that fear-mongering tactics will not sway the democratic will of the people and that the majority of KwaZulu-Natal KZN voters did not support Mkanta Wisizwi, MK, the military wing of the African National Congress, ANC. Flamini underlined that General Mkwanazi is ready to enforce the law and that KZN does not belong to former President Jacob Zuma. Flamini said during a live broadcast, Malima must go to hell if he thinks he can intimidate the people of KZN with his inflammatory speeches. Most people in this room did not vote for MK. In a democracy like this, inciting fear is ineffective. The declaration is a reaction to recent remarks made by Julius Malima, the leader of the Economic Freedom Fighters, EFF, who has been outspokenly critical of the political climate in KwaZulu-Natality. Many people saw Malima's statements as an effort to use scare tactics to gain support, and local authorities and citizens did not think highly of them. KZN doesn't belong to Zuma or any other political figure. Lamini went on. It is owned by the local people, 
who have the authority to choose their leaders and determine the course of their province. Voter manipulation using fear is a thing of the past.